Okay, here we go. No, actually, we've got... We have a couple of... Stealth boys we could use. Let's see if we can take out the fat man guy first. He comes around and gets to that to that barricade right there. Maybe we can take him down. There he is. Oh boy. I don't know how uh, how much damage I did to him. We're gonna have to go to the other side of this rock or this this bridge. Oh, we're stuck under the cars. We need to get unstuck of these cars. That guy's dangerous over there. Gotta make sure you get him taken out. Might have a couple of foot soldiers coming out too. Probably gonna be best just to go up there and get closer. All right, that's what we'll do. <clears throat> Keep your eye on these top-level guys so they don't come get you. Actually, one's coming around here now. You can probably take them out with ricochets from that. There we go, just like that. That's the nice thing about having the spray and pray. It's effectively a ricochet weapon. <laughs> eye up there. If we start going up this staircasing, we'll have to uh, maybe uh, use one of those stealth boys. That's probably a good idea. Let's just use one right now. We have plenty. Get out this gunner. We can get this gunner here. Like that. There's a lot of combat armor too. Nobody there. We'll go around the edge here and get this one. What I want... I don't want... I want the plasma weapons if we can get them. Let's go inside here real quick. That's it. tattered rags. I like the looks of those tattered rags. Hold on one sec. My air conditioner came on. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Back out. Clear this top deck here first before there we go. get a move on here. We don't want that guy that's fat man to climb up here and surprise us. Just get him to calm down just a little bit. 
I'm sure they won't be moving now. Easy. Electrical Hobbyist Club. Now that place is a heavy, heavy radiated area. So you need to be ready for that if you've never been there before. There is a lot of radiation there. make a move for the weapon really quick because we don't want somebody else to pick it up. We don't need the missile launcher if we take all the missiles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, move to the other side. That way it seems like we're coming from all directions. If we can get there from this side, I don't... I don't know. Two of the enemies were these turrets. We can, uh... Wow. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> That'll work just fine. Well, I was hoping for more plasma weapons. Maybe not out here, maybe inside. Oh, well, they take that effing scar. <laughs> you gotta watch out how you say that. We'll take the military fatigues off of the guy. He's got dirty stuff. We don't want dirty. Okay, so far so good. Haven't been busted yet inside. Here we go. Okay, now there is a Protectron in here. Here's the thing. If you don't have the Protectron override uh, holotape and you unlock him, he will be an enemy. So... Yeah, if you've never done that before, or if you're like, hey, I unlocked him and he started shooting at me, that's why. Is you have to have that override program. Not a lot of space to remove duds here. Here's one we can remove. Nope, we already removed that one. That's not one. We're gonna get locked out here. Well, maybe not. Load the hollow tape. Protect on overwrite. Overwrite. Boom. Now you can override alliance parameters. Okay. Allied, go back. Go back. Activate.
Okay, I'll resume my normal activities, which is looting. We don't need the plastic knife, but we'll take it because I already collected it. Just phase through that or, you know, knock it over. Um, that's all you need to do. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, he's going to blow. Oh, <laughs> this could hurt. I don't know how close he is. <laughs> he stepped on the landmines. <laughs> he took a big hit. <laughs> oh, stupid, 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 stupid. But funny at the same time. Did I already get this one? No. Nope. Take the tray. There's so many goodies here in Gunner's Plaza because there's so many containers, right? So if you've got you know, Scrapper or Scrounger. And the other thing is if you have, or not Scrapper, but if you've got Scrounger or uh, Fortune Finder, and you come in here, you'll actually collect even more junk than you would if you didn't have any of those because it activates a lot of these containers to actually hold things. So you might not, some of these containers might not hold anything. Uh, but it does activate them Oops, we already cleared this room, and I don't need that. This locker. Let's go in here. I think I, did. I came through here one time when I had all four ranks of Fortune Finder, and I'm pretty sure I came out with about 4,000 caps. Of course, that's rank four. Well, the thing is, is the exploding enemies, they only give you between like 19 and 23 caps. And, you know, not every one of them explodes into a shower of caps, so... It's, you're not gaining that much. Where you gain all of the caps is in all the containers. That's both turrets, so we don't have to look at turrets. I mean, look at all these containers. selling off some of the uh, shotgun shells too since we're not using them. Oh, that was like the first container that didn't have anything in it. I'll we'll have to see how much carry weight I've got. I'd like to have... You know what? Let's just take this rifle anyways. Take that. I'll take this pulse mine. That mine's not going to do us much good. There's a couple of locations that you could use the mines, pulse mines at, but mostly those pulse mines are worthless. Ah! I don't really want the ball peen hammer. It's heavy for what it gives you. And since wood is so easy to come by, take the dog tags, leave them watch. Don't need the fancy brush. So I'm just making a big circle, as you can tell, going the same direction. So when we get around to where we were, we'll know because all the containers will be empty. We're at the beginning anyways. We came in through this door. So now we need to look for bodies. Or body parts. <laughs> Only a security baton. Here's another body. Oh, and here's a... Here's a cooler. Okay. Can. Got it. Now, for whatever reason, I've never been attacked from that upper deck there, and that's where some of the bad guys are. So, it's an effing scar. It's a little too powerful. 
which is why I don't typically use it. Um, not for a video like this, you know, if I'm playing by myself, I don't care. I'll use whatever cheaty weapons I want. Now, we'll have to make uh, up and down loops here because we don't have... I don't have master lock picking. Should be a gunner doing like a back and forth laps in this room here. So if we can get the drop on him. Oh, red mist. <laughs> oh god. Gruesome. those people up here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and take apart this trigger. This is a guy with a plunger in his hand. Prediction. Probably had too many Oreos or something. fire weapon for this corner right here. So, there is a turret over there. Not anymore, there's not. Uh, probably a couple of people coming from that direction. There we go. Well, half of those people are inside the door there. We can't do anything about them yet. We're not going to be able to carry all these scars that come in our position. So that's locked with a master lock. That room there. So we can't get in there yet. We'll need to get the key. You don't want to know, buddy. You don't want to know. It's your worst nightmare. That's who's there. What we could end up doing is... Ah, we'll see how things go. I bet our carry weight is getting tight already. Oh, yeah. We're four pounds away already. What you don't want to do is stash them in any of the corpses. We could stash some stuff in one of these drawers. Um, in fact, it's probably good. We just stash that stuff right here in this desk. Uh, all these, all these uh, scars. The fat man, sniper rifle. We'll stash all that right in here. Um, I don't think those guys, these people will get in there to get it, so... Then we can collect another scar. I don't remember 
remember if there was, I'm trying to recall if there was a safe back here. I don't think so. And that guy's got a powerful sniper, night vision sniper rifle. Indoors, good idea. In case somebody puts all the lights out, I guess. There's so many things to block these grenades. There's one more baddie up there. You'll have to be careful that you don't get surprised by that guy up there. One of these one of these locked rooms also has another fat man, but I don't remember which one it is. That was probably a very dangerous turret. Either incendiary or explosive rounds. That can wreak havoc on you. Where'd he go? Somebody was making making a move to bail. <laughs> maybe that was maybe that was payoff money. That's what the camera was there for. He's like, see, I got it. I'll expose you if you don't. Threaten, threaten, threaten. Okay, that's my that's my alarm already. We still got about halfway to go through here. So let's call it even for... Actually, you know what? Let's just keep going. This will just be a little bit longer of a video. We won't be able to get all of it done all in one setting, though, because we still have half of this place to go yet. They barricaded themselves behind here and then took some meds. <laughs> oh, I closed the door. That was helpful. Way to keep out the... Oh my gosh, they're all grouped together? Who's there? Do we have... Oh, we got some cryo grenades. Good. He's inside here. Nope, not anymore. Uh. Oops, kind of screwed that one up, didn't I? You lose.
magazine right here. Hell yeah. I think there's one more magazine and there's a bobblehead too. Jeez. Almost blocked off our escape here with these grenades. Oh, that, I don't need the hollow tape. Oh, there's an assault rifle. Good. That's just a potty room. Oh, the other half of Cruz is over there. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait, two people had Cruz's hollow tape? Check that one. There's more bodies out here that we haven't checked, I think. No, I think we checked him on the way into this room with all the cabinets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That one. That one. That one's got a ripper. Take those board over weight. Put on backpack. There we go. We've been in this room because that's the one I shut the door on. So over here, phone, crystal decanter. We have to go downstairs to get the key to the other stair, the other room that we had to leave unassaulted. Um, Side. And now get back up, up the stairs to the elevator. There's another way too, but I like to go this way because I like the location that this elevator puts me when I go in it. That elevator. Is there... I think it's just an armor, an armor workbench. Is there something I want to scrap here? Did I get, I didn't get a leaded combat armor. Okay, fair enough. So we've pushed as far as I'm willing to go with this video. Uh, we'll do the rest of it in the next video and maybe stop over, um, drop a lot of this stuff over at Igra Tours Marina and then go over to the uh, Hobbyist Club and finish that up. Anyway, next video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.